I decided the first thing I want to do is take that trim off the side of the doors. And how I'm going to do that is I'm going to spray some Goo Gone in between it. Hopefully it'll like kind of loosen up a little bit. Let it sit for a couple minutes. And then I'll get the heat gun and slowly heat it up. And then I'll try and pry it off um, without trying to break it or anything. So I'm going to time lapse this and I'll let you know if I run into any issues. Okay, so I got it off on this side, took the GM off and the trim on front door and back door. So now I have the goo gone on this one, kind of setting in, and then I'm going to get a rag and try and take as much of this off as possible. Here's what it looks like off. I finally got it all off. Took me a little while. Um, I think it looks super good. I used a mixture of the Goo Gone Automotive and the Bug and Tar Turtle Wax Remover. By the way, if you ever need any tar or anything like this, this stuff is amazing. Um, this stuff's pretty good too. But now that this side's done, I'm going to do the other side another day because my fingers hurt trying to peel that stuff off. Now I'm gonna take these off. Um, I'm gonna start with just this sticker here and uh, try and heat it up and then just peel it off. got both of those off looks really good now in certain light you actually can see the shadowing of where it used to be the Colorado but we're gonna compound and polish this truck eventually so I'm not really worried about it so I finished up taking the black uh, door guard off the passenger side I think it looks super good I love the look of it like this And we've got all the gunk off the um, rain shield, whatever you want to call those pieces that go up there. The driver's side, same thing. Alright guys, so if you remember, I told you I had a rattle in this door and I actually just fixed it. Um, I was diagnosing the problem and the bolt where it connects to the window channel was gone so i went through my buckets of bolts found one put this on tightened and no more rattle check this out works like a charm now so while i'm here i'm going to be replacing these speakers i am doing six and a half kicker ks series um there actually was kicker cs series in here and i i don't like those um they're like the cheaper version of kicker and i just don't like them very much so I had some KS laying around, so I'm gonna replace those. Also, gonna do the connections a little better here. And while I'm at it, I have this little box. We noticed last night when we had the uh, radio on and everything that the speakers were rattling. And I believe it's because when the bass hits, this box here is just hitting the metal. So we got this gasket we're gonna put around where the box sits and hopefully that'll solve our problem. We've got the new speaker in. Works good. I'm gonna clean up the door panels while they're out before I put them back in. Um, I did take the passenger left off as well. It needs to be cleaned up some. You can see it's kinda grody down there. 
and then I've got this side new speaker in. And I went ahead and tightened this bolt here because it was actually loose as well. Basically there's three bolts to take this rear panel off. There's two here and then you have to unclip the power window switch and there's one behind the door pan or door handle. So other than that it's just clips. But once I get the door panels cleaned up, I'll put them back on. So I got the door panels all cleaned up and conditioned. Everything's back on. Everything looks good. You know, there's a couple nicks here and there, but it's ultimately a work truck, so it's not really that big of a deal. And I got this side on as well. They weren't too dirty on the outside. This is another scratch here, but um, overall, it looks really good. I'm going to work on the front door panels to get those speakers changed and cleaned up and everything. I did uh, get both the door speakers done on the driver and the passenger side and cleaned up this door panel and that one. So it looks super good. So we got some new wheels and tires. I mean, they're not new, but they're new to us. So that's what we're going to be doing today. We're going to be swapping these wheels and tires out because I cannot stand these wheels. They are the stock 06 Colorado wheels. Um, and I think this is the same tire it came with as well. And it's a little dry rotted, it kind of looks like, in between the tread. We figured pick up some new rims and tires instead of just um, getting new tires because we both don't like these wheels anyway. So we figured why not? And that's what we did, so check these out. We picked up some BF Goodwrench KO2s. Um, my dad actually has these on his Wrangler and his diesel, and I love the look of them, and they, they're they such a good riding tire. And the guy that we bought these from had just got these last month, and they have like less than 2K miles on them. Um, we picked them up for a pretty good deal with 2012 Colorado stock wheels, and I like these way better than the ones that are on there. They are Plasti Dipped. Um, Tyler and I are just gonna leave them Plasti Dipped for now and not worry about it, but uh, they're gonna look real good, I think. And obviously we got four. They are silver underneath. We figured, whatever, we're gonna, we kind of like the black, um, even though they're Plasti Dipped, we just said, screw it, we're not gonna worry about it. Let's just put them on. Which, worst case, down the line, we can always take that off and then just do a... What's the paint that we always use? Oh, the auto dip? Well, either auto dip or... Or Rust-Oleum or, or Rust-Oleum and just or, give them a you cleaner know, look. Or powder coat. Oh, yeah. I see I got your attention. Yeah, we might just do that. <laughs> Eventually, if we do end up, like, super keeping this truck and, like, really liking it, um... We, you know, I'd like to find some nice wheels and tires. Well, nice wheels that uh, Tyler and I both like. The wheels stock on the car are 15, and these are 16 inch wheels now, so gives us a little bit more. Um, but these tires are 215 70R16s, obviously. 16 and then these on uh, stock are 225 75 so so they're a little less wide and they have a little less of a tire wall but not by much so they're gonna look real good so here goes So here's the difference between the two just laying here. Just 
tire just looks so much meatier and so much more like a truck tire than this one. Um, these tires are so awesome. Uh, they seriously ride so good. Um, I'm excited to have the truck with these on them. Oh, it looks so much better with just the, the black Plasti Dip. It does. It actually looks like a proper truck now. So we finished putting all four tires and wheels on. Looks super good. I'm super stoked. Looks like a truck. They ride really nice. It looks really good. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. We'll see you next time.